Hello, I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining us for our special update on Tropical Cyclone Jasper as it finally makes landfall in northern Queensland later on today and overnight tonight. This is where it's situated this morning. It's just to the north of Cairns, although the worst of the wind and rain is actually in the southern part of it. So even though it is tracking to the north, you're still going to get walloped by that wind and rain over the next 24 to 48 hours. Basically from Townsville all the way up to Cooktown are the areas that are most exposed. Closer view of what we've just uh, seen, you can certainly notice the airflow or the wind direction around Cairns itself is probably a little better than it could be. If it was coming straight in like that, it would be more of a concern. So while it stays a southeasterly, that is a better direction, but the winds will shift as the storm moves in over the next few hours. Everybody in northern Queensland is going to notice a wind change to some degree. So here is the rain for the rest of today. You can see it really building up, especially just north of Cairns where you see sort of a pink shading here. That's where we expect the centre of that storm to be coming in. But really from Innisfail northwards, you're seeing quite a bit of rain coming in. That's just over the next uh, 12 hours or so. Plenty more to come over the next couple of days. So this is the 72 hour animation of the rain. You can see really anywhere from Cooktown to Townsville, the two places we mentioned the other day being most exposed to the rain. But those um, concerned about the flooding, that's mostly in the middle portion of where that storm is going to come in, somewhere uh, to the north. So let's have a look at the bigger picture of the rain. You can see here uh, just north of Cairns, Port Douglas, Cooktown area, uh, you really are seeing up to four to 500 millimetres of rain, half a metre of rain. Now the concern is really just where the centre of that storm comes in. That's the area most likely to block up uh, estuaries, rivers, drainage sort of areas. Elsewhere, I'm sure you're all pretty happy uh, getting a bit of rain coming through. So here are the waves. So this is part of the problem, right? The waves that keep coming in and they build up the uh, water levels in estuaries and harbours. And then on top of that, you've got the storm surge right at the middle of the storm. So this is the area here uh, in the dark green as well. This is where you're starting to see some pretty big waves, you know, several metres high out at sea. Now, as we come in towards later today, it shrinks a wee bit, but the worst of it comes in between Innisfail and really up to about Cooktown, mostly around the Cairns area though. So that's going to be a little bit of concern for some of you, especially further to the north, Trinity Beach up to about um, Port Douglas are the areas perhaps most likely to see the most damaging waves coming through from this storm. Now we've got warm sea surface temperatures. Out at sea, when it was down here, it was about two, two and a half degrees cooler than what it is here. It's much warmer, close to 30 degrees Celsius. The shallow water means that it, there's not a lot of cold water to get churned up. And so the storm is expected to grow again as it comes in. But at the same time, it's going to start interacting with land. So it's a bit of one step forward, one step backwards. But the fact that it could intensify as it moves in is worth keeping an eye on. So here are the three models that we've been tracking all week and what they are saying for landfall. Uh, GFS, the American one, showing it coming in uh, north of Cairns, coming in sort of to the north around Palm Cove, Port Douglas area at some point after 4 p.m. today, Queensland time. If you look at the European model, that shows it coming in around Port Douglas and Wonga Beach. Uh, the airflow into Cairns is south, pretty windy, and further to the north in here to, Port, to Palm Cove, that's a pretty serious setup with those northeasterly winds. The good news is the ECM modeling is showing probably the weakest of all the computer models. And then we go to the Access G Australian one. I'm not quite sure why it's split the middle part up here with the animation versus the static one. But anyway, at some point tonight, by the looks of it, it comes in around Woodgill. Woodgill. Now, Woodgill, Woodgill probably doesn't get mentioned very often. Here you go, you could be making the news. Uh, so anywhere between Cooktown and Port Douglas, but really what you're seeing is from Innisfail to Cooktown, those are the high risk areas for severe weather, flooding and wind damage over the next 24 hours. And then hopefully by tomorrow, we're back to just a tropical low and off it goes. And then it's uh, Darwin's problem. And let's just have a few days off before we have to start worrying or thinking about that. So for now, when we recorded this category one, intensifying maybe as it moves in, and this is the northern area here, Tully northwards really, will be seeing uh, the most extreme weather. Cairns, if you're in Cairns, like, do be careful tonight. It's going to be pretty wet and windy, but hopefully it stays at that lower level and doesn't get any stronger than category two, because above that, 
wind damage becomes a lot more of a problem. So for all of you there, take care, stay safe, follow the Bureau of Meteorology for all local weather warnings, keep up to date with your local radio stations, especially uh, in Cairns, and we will be back again tomorrow, Thursday, with our usual seven-day Australia outlook, and hopefully we're not talking too much about tropical storms, but i got to say, some of you want the rain, and also the leftovers of the cyclone may end up doing a reverse and coming back again as we head towards Christmas. Don't worry, I don't think it's going to be in the same areas, but... There's still a little bit more to unfold yet uh, with this tropical storm. That's all from me. We'll see you later.